So when Sherelle brought up the point and that Brittany wouldn't have been playing overseas if she was properly mm -hmm. compensated and taken care of by the WNBA. So that's a whole separate issue. But then you asked an excellent question. Where would this process be if this was someone like a LeBron James or someone like a Steph Curry? I want to ask you that question, your opinion on where this would be if it was an NBA superstar rather than WNBA. You know, I really wrestle with this question a lot because what I don't want to do is make any of those guys feel like I'm trying to target them, right? There have been a number of folks talking about I'm trying to create a gender divide. That's not it. What I'm really trying to do is demonstrate that there is a gender divide, that because of how Britney presents this 6'9", Black woman wearing a Black Lives Matter sweatshirt through customs in Russia, who's had no problem traveling there for more than seven years, now all of a sudden on the other side of this is detained. And the to Stephen A's point, a lot of people were obedient, right, to the idea of not talking about Britney. Do you think we really could have quieted, quieted the press? The NBA, yeah. if it was one of these players, I don't think so. And so I, I really wanted to wrestle with that within myself. Like, how would I be paying attention to this if this were different? If this mm -hmm. were my sister, if this were my friend, how would I want people to be talking about this? And I think that's how we have to really deal with this. Sure, we would like to believe that if you're a superstar and if you're a regular Joe Blow from around the corner, that you'll be treated the same and we would all want your return and your release. But I, I don't believe that's the case. And I think this is a really great point for us to double down, not just on salary disparity, but on treatment of these stars. When you look at Brittany Griner's stats, this is a seven-time NBA All-Star, a W, I'm sorry, WNBA, mm -hmm. WNBA champion, Olympic gold medalist yeah. twice. Like, come on. Like, yes, yeah, so I think she, a lot she more was a superstar since things. college. Yeah, she. I mean, she yes, was a really Taylor. a household name when she was in college. I remember what. Yeah, of course. Uh, Ladies. Stephen a? Let me say this. I'm going to say something, and then I'll ask the question along those lines, Angela, because I'm not sure I entirely agree with you. I definitely agree with you about, uh, obviously, they need to be paid more. There is no question about that. There is no debate about that. Uh, WNBA players are fantastic. They give the fans what they want to see, what they come to expect to see. They deliver the goods, and they're consistently committed. So I got a lot of love. Don't get me started with the Diana Taurasi's, the Sue Birds of the World, and others. I love all of them ladies. I'm actually going to a couple of games this summer. Okay, and let me not forget Candace Parker, but I got to say this. When we say that if an NBA player was in that position, I will remind the world we're talking about Vladimir Putin. And we know we've seen, unfortunately, what this man is capable of. And it uh, one could easily reverse that and make the argument that if it was somebody popular, he would dig down even more and do even worse. We could actually say that. So with that in mind, as we sit here today, what is the status of Brittany Griner? And how soon are we hoping, or are we expecting, rather, this matter to amp up to a degree where some kind of decision is made? Because she ain't the only uh, American that they've got over there. All right, that they're holding over there, and at the end of the day, they they haven't been listening to to other folks who wanted, you know, their loved ones out of there. I don't. I'm, I'm just worried right now about the grinding situation. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, and I hear your your fear, Stephen A. I think here's the question that I would pose back to you: If this were LeBron James, Giannis, anybody, even in the finals right now, Steph Curry is one of the person, the people who I mentioned in the question. When you think about how much you've talked about Brittany Griner on air, do you think it's sufficient? No. Okay. We should have talked about. Now, we should. We should talk about Griner more. Absolutely. Right. And so all I'm saying is, I'm not confused about the monster that Vladimir Putin is. What I'm saying is, when it comes time to look at the petition on WeRBG.org, and we look at the fact that it's still under 250,000 signatures. 98 days after her detention, we that. ought to be ashamed of ourselves, right? When we look yeah. at whether or not I she's agree. been on the front page of major newspapers, when we look at our statistics in media and how much we've talked about this, shame on us. Well, I'm clear about his role. I'm also clear about ours. And we could do a hell of a lot more. And we sure better. If we, Stevie Day, think about your two daughters. 
Think about your family members. Think about what you will want people to do if this was your loved one. All-star aside, and then when you tack on that all-star and all that she's done for this country, even when she's been critical of it, she has the right because we have free speech here. I'm asking people to honor the principles of what it means to be an American citizen. Do all right. you can and leave nothing out to and get this woman back home. Angela, let me close by saying this. Your point about the signatures, nothing to dispute there, without question. The yeah. point about the attention is brought to bear. I think Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA, spoke for a lot of people when he was asked about it at his State of the NBA press conference. And when he was mm -hmm. asked about it, he talked about how they were being advised of what to do or what not to do in terms of the momentum they brought to the subject because of the sensitivity involved with Vladimir Putin. We know what's going on with Russia and Ukraine and all of that other stuff, and there's so much stuff going on. They were advised. So when you see people not talking about it much more, that they has were been a factor. Then. And I think it's they important that we know that. Then. They were advised then, and it has changed. And I'm telling you, if you just remove what, if we all remove whatever bias we have yeah. around this, if it were mm -hmm. another superstar in the NBA, you could advise until you were blue in the face and nobody would listen. That's what I'm saying. We have Got used you. this as a fallback and we're guilty of it. And we have now, we now have to come to account. We've got work to do as a collective, this entire country, Joe Biden's got a Absolutely. meeting to have. We've got some signatures to add to a petition and we've got to sound the alarm in the media. And I appreciate y'all for doing that today. I'm good with that. I'm good oh. with that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.